if someone wants to look like a princess with enough effort, they can, can they look like you? <laughs> like me? You think I look like a princess? I think, yeah, I think so. Or like an anime character? Oh yeah, I think so. I mean, I used to like, for example, like I said before, like I feel a lot more confident now, but if you look at my streams from just four years ago, like I had severe acne scars. So, um, I didn't like to have good cameras when I streamed. I like to have really bad quality like webcams so that you couldn't see the texture of my skin because my acne scars, like I had the pitted acne scars. So it was like the crater scars, like my whole face was like pitted craters. Um, but I've been getting, what's it called? Like laser scar treatments for the past like four or five years now. It's been a long time now. And so now that my skin looks a lot better, I definitely feel a lot more confident. I think that helped a lot, a lot. Cause yeah, if you, if you look at my streams from like four years ago, cause there's still VODs up on my Twitch. I was really, I was really insecure to even show my face. No, I feel less so. If that makes sense, like, I don't mind, like, I still have some acne scars. Like, you can still see my skin's not perfect, but I think because it's improved so much, I don't mind it anymore. Um, One princess gown. I should wear a princess dress again, though. That's a good idea. Oh, man, my hair is really oily today. I didn't wash it today. I, uh, I washed it yesterday and then today I just woke up. <laughs> Feeling good in yourself is very important. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, it, it's, um, it's weird how, cause uh, my acne scars were so bad. Uh, I did feel confident when I wore a mask. Like when I lived in South Korea, um, it's quite normal to wear a mask, like, before COVID, like, you know COVID, everyone, like, they tell you to wear a mask or whatever, but before COVID, um, people would wear masks because there's, like, in the, the condition of the air in Korea is really bad, there's a lot of micro dust in the air, so people would wear masks, and I really liked wearing masks, because it would hide all my acne scars and my acne, so I would just wear a face mask, and I felt like my eyes looked pretty, and I feel like if I, like, I feel like if I just covered this, like, from here up, I felt looked... I feel like this upwards looked pretty. But then everything down, I didn't like about my face. So I'd wear a face mask in Korea. And then I felt really confident wearing a face mask. But yeah, if I if I couldn't wear a face mask for whatever reason, then I would be, like, trying to hide my face. <laughs> wait, wait, my room is good? I'm excited. Yeah, so basically this... Or the Rotom... The Rotom is good. You like him? I like the way he turned out. I'm quite surprised. Um, so this part, I'm going to 3D print separately. And I'm just going to kind of slip it onto him. And then I might glue it in place. I don't, I don't know yet. I don't know what we're going to do with his arms yet. I definitely think, though, his arms I want to, like, slip on around him. But I'm excited. <laughs> I I think I could do better. Hold on, let's see. Let's um, let's actually does let's let's doll this scene up a little bit. The Korean treatment you did was nice. Oh yes, it was very good. So I the so the treatment I got for my skin you can actually get in America too, but it um hey potato, um. So the, the acne scar treatment I was getting was CO2 Fraxel laser. And it basically they laser off the top layer of your skin. It is extremely painful, like really, really painful. I'd cry like every time almost. Um, but I would just get it every single month for three years straight. Every single month, I would go into the dermatologist office, get my face lasered. I stream during that time. So there are VODs of me, I think maybe on Twitch. And I kind of look like a swollen squirrel. Like, my face is all red. Like, super red. And I'm just, like, swollen. My whole face is swollen. Because <laughs> it's, like, such an intense treatment. Um, they do numb you, yes. Uh, they numb you um, with that, like, topical numbing cream. So I think it's the same stuff they use for, like, tattoos. And they just put that on your face. And then they laser you. But even though they numb you, it still hurts. 
and you smell the smell of like burning hair because you know how you have like the peach fuzz or i guess if you're a boy you have beards but as a girl you get like the peach fuzz on your face um but when they laser that you can smell all the hair on your face burning and it does not smell good tato <laughs> you wondered how i tamed a dragon you like him my blue eyes white dragon i'll bring him over here. oh wait he's gone ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. How did I tame him? Honestly, he just arrived one day. He hangs out. He's quite nice. He waves at chat. <laughs> He's a good boy. We haven't named him yet. <laughs> Beat up Kaiba for him. I had to send Kaiba to the Shadow Realm. How many Fraxel sessions did you take to see the results you wanted? Ah, that's a really good question. So when it came to the CO2 Fraxel laser, um, I would say, uh, I noticed significant changes. So, for example, I would say every time I got it done, it would be like a, maybe a 5%, if that makes sense. But the best way to measure your results, I didn't do this at first. So what would happen is when you get Fraxel laser, so what will happen is you get swollen, your whole face swells up. And when your face swells, your skin looks perfect, you know? Because when you have the pitted crater scars and your skin swells up, it looks like your skin's perfect and flawless. And then what will happen is the swelling goes down and then those crater scars come back. And then you get really sad and disappointed like the laser scar treatment didn't work at all. But what I actually found helped me a lot is um, one of my dermatologists in Korea she put like these skin healing stickers on my face. Um, I think it's like scar tape is what it's called. But she would pretty much, after she would do the laser scar treatment, she would pretty much cut out a giant square of that scar tape and she would just put it on my two cheeks. So then when I'm super swollen, I would just have these stickers on my face. So I couldn't see um, that fake results of being swollen. I heard that a lot of girls actually get addicted to the swollen look. So like, because when you're swollen, your skin looks really good. Even like when you're, when you get like lip fillers, when girls get lip fillers, um, their lips will be swollen and their lips look like a lot bigger and prettier. And then you like get confident and stuff, but then in a few days the swelling goes down and then you feel like, oh, it's not that big. Um, but yeah, after putting on those stickers on my face, um, after a few days, I would usually wait like two or three days, um, the swelling would go down and I would take off the stickers and then I would know what I looked like before. And then when I saw this result after I took off the stickers, I would notice a huge res I, I would notice like de like huge results. And after doing that now, I really like to do that because when you, cause I think if you don't cover it up, you can, when your face gets swollen, the results look better than what happens when the swelling goes down, if that makes sense. So if you definitely get the treatments, I definitely recommend doing that because you can you can really get really bummed out when the swelling goes down. That happened to me for months. Like, um, my face would be swollen and my skin would look flawless and perfect and then the swelling goes down and I'm like, oh, I still have crater scars. And it sucked. But then, yeah. I would say it probably when I saw the most results though was probably after six treatments. And then um, after having the skin on my tape, I would like take it off. And then yeah, after six, I really, really liked the results. And then I kept getting them. Um, I think after like 20 treatments, I had these like little pimple bumps like on my chin. I still kind of have a couple of them, like one or two. And, uh, but they like looked like teeny little pimples like all on my chin and it was just it was from acne that I had as a teenager that just never emerged and it was like stuck under my skin. So the dermatologist would do like micro needling and then lasers to like get it to go away. I have like one or two left, but they pretty much all went away now. The swollen looks ho sounds horrible. So the swollen, the swollen look, it sounds horrible, but when you have crater acne scars, it makes your skin look perfect like flawless so i was trying to get my skin to look good and so when i had these created like pitted like crater scars um the swollen look would make my skin look flawless and then the swelling would go down and then i would have this 
the scars again. And I'd be like, oh, man. It probably pulls the skin as the swelling reduces. Yeah. It feels like a lot... Um, it feels like it's a lot healthier to look at um, the post-laser treatment after the swelling. I think so, yeah. I think it is. I think it can be unhealthy to go from 100% or 100 to no confidence. Like it's a false positive. Yeah, it really sucks. <laughs> yeah, the, this is Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> to keep it even and smooth. Yeah, I had... Yeah, I think... So, in total, I think I had, like... Probably 30 laser scar treatments. Like I said, I got it every single month for, like, three years. Um, and it helped a lot. Like, I still have a couple little, like, deep scars, but I think because the majority of my skin looks good now, I like it a lot. <laughs> I think it... I think my skin looks a lot better. Man, I don't even know how we got on that subject. What was I even talking about? <laughs>